Hello friends. Welcome to my new video on PSAT. So today we are going to do something new. Uh, and today we are uh, doing optimal power flow, okay, in MATLAB PSAT. So, okay, so uh, optimal power flow is very important for all power engineers because optimal power flow shows all the process data as or what is levels uh, for the economic generation and economic use uh, of the energy or electrical energy. So let's get it started. So I'm entering the command PSAT. I don't care about the warnings because warnings just come, okay? So this is my PSAT, then you just uh, open the data file. And I have created a simple two bus network uh, for doing the optimal power flow. So I have saved it in my desktop and uh, this is my desktop. So I just select the folder and this is you can view the file and uh, file is simply to bus network i think it's opening in the background i'm uh, taking time so okay it's not viewing right oh sorry it is, i should do dot mdl okay i have already told you on previous videos so this would be md yeah, okay, so you can just pay for it. Come on. It's taking time because it's, it's my computer is on Selenium processor, so it's quite slow. Okay. Uh, this is simply two bus network, and uh, this is Slack bus, and this is the our PQ bus. And these two are the uh, are the functions or the uh, by, uh, functions for the what cost and uh, cost input and the power supply and uh, rating so you just uh, give uh, the different inputs here and this cost uh, cost uh, you can study in your uh, ebooks or search for the internet for the optimal power flow solutions so these are all for the inputs for the supply side and this is for demand side okay you just can create it from the simulink toolbox uh if you don't know then i'll show you go there uh, you can get it from here okay so this is these are all for the optimal power flow and community powerful data okay just you can do it by just drag and dropping so this is data file i'm just going to load it i did loading here loading here it's just gone. So if first, if you do power flow, uh, you'll obtain a kind of data uh, with some, um, yes, yes, it's just converse. And uh, if you look at the static table, so you will find this is 1.06 volts, uh, sorry, PU voltage, and this is 0 0.6. Okay, so this is the normal power flow data. But if you want to optimize, the power flow from supply side to demand side then you will do uh, the uh, optimal power flow okay so you're gonna do optimal power flow here if you click that it will take some time to calculate all the bus data so it is converging okay it, it starts converged okay that, that's all that's all so you, you you just find that the static report has been updated okay uh, the previously here is 1.06 and uh, here was one and just there are the data has been changed because for the optimal power flow uh, the the bus voltage should be changed in such a way that the power flow would be optimized uh, according to our uh, our economic cost of the generation cost and the demand cost okay today this is all for you and uh, you're gonna study the books and do some experiments on PSAT and if you got some problem then just uh, email me or type the comment on on the YouTube video okay so thank you